So I'm out here at the yard today. I figured I'd do a video on this since nobody has done one, or at least I can't find one that's, you know, good enough. So I'm gonna give you all a little fucking quick video here. So, as you can see, 97 01 RD1 CRV. My mom's shifter cable snapped this morning, so I'm here pulling one for her. So, what you need to do. I also am taking the uh, turn signal and wiper combination, so that's why I steering wheel and everything's off, but you don't need to pull all that off. So this little guy right here, I'm kind of learning as I go, that's why I just manual some things a little more than need to be, but this little guy sits right up on here. And it's got your little shift block whatever thing that goes to your lever up there, right? So anyway, your cable goes down there, there's a clip back there, there's a clip right there, and it guides it all the way up through, there's a little bracket, where's that, if I can get the visual on it for y'all, it's right behind here, you see this hole right here, so this threaded end goes through there, and this nut tightens down on that, but now, when it comes to this end, you don't have to do anything crazy, because I thought you had to like beat out that pin or something, nah, so what there is, is there's this little, like, clip pin deal, that slides in to there and goes around the outer housing of this cable right here that's why it's got holes in it so you just pop that off it'll slide right off there and that's pretty much everything you got to do in here i uh i removed this because i couldn't tell if i need to take it off or not but i don't okay then you head underneath the car and for the thing up top, you just need like a, a flathead screwdriver. Of course, you're gonna have to take off your kick, pit, uh, kick plate and all that stuff just so you can get access to it because all in the way. But anyway, you come down here. There's plenty of videos of how to mess with these online, but oh, it just got leaked right on my face. Oil to the face. That's awesome. Good thing to go in my eye. That would suck. Anyway, so 312 mils. One here, one here. And one here. So, after you do that, this plate comes off, and you have access to your shifter cable. It's held here by this little cotter pin. So you're gonna twist it, just grab it, twist it, and pull out. And then this pushes out. And then it'll release your fucking cable. So after that, come back here. If you can bend it open, more power to you. I wasn't successful, so I'm just gonna be taking it with me. But there's two 10 mils there. And then as you can see up there is grommet. So you pop that grommet out. And then you just kind of start working it out of there. It's not coming off as easily as I'd like it to. to be able to go down with that big piece. Try, I guess. If not, I'm going to have to bring it up the other way. I'm probably going to have to bring it up the other way because I don't know about this big piece coming out. Of course, it wants to fight me. Come back up, too. I'm gonna have to end up prying 
that frack off. Of the jacket at the same time, so I'm kind of trying to be careful about that. <laughs> Here we go. Got it off without damaging it. It's my cable head. Feed up all kinds of stupid. Nope. Oh, Probably gonna have to end up working that grommet in here too. From underneath, unless I can pull through. Which looks like it might have. At least a little bit. leaking too. Fuck yeah. Getting all the fluids today. Is body good? There we go. Do, 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 do. Come on, baby. Shout out to BMW for their comfy rear seats so I can work on cars. And there you have it, y'all. And then, of course, you know, to install it, pretty much reverse order. Gonna have to fight it a little bit, I guess, but I'll find out how hard that is later on today. But yeah, hopefully, this helped y'all out. Later.